All right, so here's the code finished out for the lerp. Okay. Notice the speed variance. I didn't have to have this as a variable with a colon, so you got to leave that colon out. Speed's a proprietary thing that's built in within the en in the engine, so we have to leave that out. If you get it right, uh, when you click on plane, you should have this two transform nodes. So what I'm going to do is place negative x in the top node and positive x here and hit play and see what happens. Let's see if I get this right. So if I hit D, he should flip around. And I got it backwards. Okay. So in order to rectify that, all I do is have to drag the positive up in here and the negative in the other one. think. There we go. It works. Okay, another thing that has to be done is the player has to make sure it's locked in all axes. Okay, that's pretty important. Another thing that has to be done is you have to make sure that this is dead center inside both the plane and the player. All right, good. Also, the timing. You notice how it was dragging. Like if I go like this, you see how slow it, it's going. Okay, that's because of the speed variance that is happening on the lerp. So for this, I probably want the lerp to happen right away. So, I'm just going to give it a hundred. Perfect. That's so ridiculous. All right, so that is how to set up a 2D player, how to use LERP, and now we're going to have to figure out some more coding for our bad guy here. Also, sooner or later, we're going to have to get this cock gun firing too. All right. Well, enjoy and into the next video.